Oh, this is a touch of tarot, and this is going to be your reading for the week of March 8th. Let's see what's coming up. First card we have is Emerald. Calm your mind, body, and soul. Interesting. Next card we have is Gray. Learn to scan your body. Wow. Okay. Let's see what else we got here for Cancers. So far, yours is, I'm going to say, like quite a deep, energetic um, color scheme here. So we have Aqua, experiencing peace, well, experience peace and mind. So Cancer, I think that you're going through something, to be honest, and calm is here twice, so that's a really important energy um, that you could embrace that would probably benefit your mind, body, and soul at this time. And it's like, learn to scan your body. There is some sort of a deep emotional issue here. And I believe you really need to get out of maybe not doing much. Okay. Um, I mean, maybe because you're overthinking here, maybe there's a lot going on. I just feel like this gray energy is not an energy to be in. No one, I don't know. It just doesn't feel good. Okay. I'm going to start with that. The Ace of Wands. This is the, uh, with the picture here, like someone's being offered an opportunity, offered a chance to take action, offered a chance even to get out of the house, you know, or to get out. Um, to do something new, to experience brightness, right? Because even down here, there's all this gray matter at the bottom of this card. So Cancers, this is about um, learning to scan your body and feel out. Like, do you feel that you should be staying in this one position that you're in right now? Because I think your body actually wants you out of it. Um, I think there's someone or something trying to make an offer to you. And I think you're really like procrastinating energetically, possibly. And what the guidance is, is to stop using your brain, really. Like it's about no judgment, no nothingness. Um, just focus on the positivity of every situation. Okay, let's see what else is going on. So yeah, cancers, it looks like you're in your head for some reason. Let me see. Wow, you're really stressed about something that is over or worrying that something could hurt you um, that's actually not going to hurt you. Oh my gosh, we have the Six of Cups and the Sun card. Someone's making you an offer of love. It's time for you to accept it. It doesn't feel like you don't, something is stressing you out, I think, or, or caught, like perplexing you is what I just got. Um, because I don't know, you had a bad situation or something that happened to you. So now you're in your head. Look at the justice card just came in reverse. So now you're in your head over something from the past. But with the judgment here and the justice, it's like, you really got to let that go. You got to let your fears go. There's a little bit of distorted energy here because whatever is being offered to you or whatever is coming in. And like I see here, literally this person is offering this wand. The wand is very special. And especially when it comes out with the queen of wands where, you know, here's that energy again. Um, but this person, whoever it is, is getting the offer or needs to start seeing this offer. I believe it's you, Cancer. <clears throat> you are stuck in your head. What that's representing is in your old beliefs, in your foundational beliefs. And it's very hard to get out of that. But it's not serving you. It's a foundational belief about endings that is not beneficial. It could also be that people are just like using you for money or something like that it could be an issue. Or you worry about that type of thing. So, interesting. Tell us, you know, more about that. And how did that fall? So it did fall in the reverse. So actually, um, finding peace 
and facing your fears um, is the way you would release yourself from being in your head, Cancers. That's what I'm getting here. Following your heart is very important here with these two cards showing up. But there really is an energy here of someone having hurt you in the past. Okay, Cancers? So what's going to happen here? What's going to happen? So if you were to follow this energy, King of Cups and Six of Wands here, um, it could be success. It really could. It looks like you are thinking about it and you are fighting your guidance. Okay, Cancerians? Let's see what else. What's that about? Fighting your guidance. Hmm? Yeah, it has to do with a love situation and possibly um, with a new beginning to a love situation. But I do feel you're in your head because there is something that happened, Emperor in reverse, in the past in regards to love, Ace of Cups, and even a Four of Wands here that made you, Cancer, put your guard up. King of Swords made you doubt, you know, doubt, really. Seeing the king, the Queen of Cups and the King of Swords is still there. Made you doubt love. Um, any advice I can give you, Cancers? Because yours so far is kind of the darkest energy. It's about seeing the opportunity here, opportunity here, allowing love in and letting go of the past, whatever that past may be. You're definitely hanging on to it, and it's time for a new beginning. I mean. This reading was way too fast, Cancers, but who's this new beginning? Okay, wait, let me just, it could be with someone that you are going back to, but who is this new beginning with? Tell us who's the person. Well, it's someone that never let you go. It's someone that had um, a very strong wish that this would happen. It's someone you hung on to is really more what it's saying, but you hung on to each other like you do want this. Um, you may have not seen the possibility in the past, but I do feel that you were this person's wish. Wow. Yeah. Seeing the star card here. Um, strong air energies here as well. So this could be an air energy that you were having trouble letting go of as well. Is that more like it? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. There could be someone you were having trouble letting go of. This can be the situation that kind of turned you. It could have been with an air sign that involved money. Ace of Pentacles in reverse and maybe even secrets with the High Priestess. Um, also lies, okay? Seven of Swords. So you got to figure that one out. We have the Star card. You could have been stuck to an air sign here. Um, and unhappy as well as what I'm seeing here. Because there was lies going on. And you may have felt much like a fool. Interesting. You may have also tried to work on that situation and it just bit you and this may be why you're in that stagnant energy right now and that dark moon energy uh, turning into like a king of swords energy in your mind about what happened in that situation exactly where did it go wrong where were the plans made wrong so cancer i mean it looks like you have your guard up a little right now because you're sad and it looks like there's a situation or a past energy you have to let go of. Plain and simple. Um, there may be love coming in, but it just really, and it's and it looks good, like good love. But it looks like you're also hanging on to a past energy. You really got to calm your mind, body, soul. And, you know, with the learning to scan your body, it's like scanning your emotions. Are these really your emotions or are these your fears? Is this your mind trying to protect you? Because that's what our mind tries to do, right? Protect us. Um, okay. So thank you so much, Cancers. I was just hoping to get a little more 
energy from it. But I mean, yeah, you're deep. You're deep right now. And you're probably blocking. And I, the, with the ripple effect, it's like you think of something and it's just get bigger and bigger. You need to just calm yourself down and let the light in. Bye for now.